Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video, and today we're gonna take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Now you can pick this up at samsung.com, I'll throw the link up in the description, the price on this one, TGH. And if you don't know what that means, too goddamn high. Now look, you gotta pay to play, 950 bucks, it is what it is. Now the phone is available in five different colors. You got Aura Glow, Aura White, Aura Black, Aura Pink, and Aura Red. Also known as the Silver Surfer, White Shoes White, Wesley Snipes Black, Flamingo Pink, and the Red Red. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. Now this phone is available for all carriers, GSM and CDMA. For the display, you got a 6.3 inch dynamic AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2280. Now that's 401 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass 6, HDR10+, and it's IP68 dust and water resistant. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 with the Adreno 640 GPU. What does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro. Flagship specs. Now you got 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, and no micro SD card slot, so no expandable memory. It's running Android 9 VIP with the Samsung One UI skin on top. For the battery, you got a non-removable 3,500 milliamp battery that features 25 watt fast charging and 12 watt fast wireless charging. For the cameras, on the rear you got a triple setup. So you got a 12 megapixel, that's f1.5 to 2.4, that's your wide angle. You got another 12 megapixel, that's f2.1, that's your telephoto. And you got a 16 megapixel, f2.2, that's your ultra wide angle lens. On the front, you got a 10 megapixel camera, that's f2.2, it's also a wide angle. Now check this out, you got Bluetooth 5.0, NFC, FM radio, USB type C, it's Samsung DeX capable, you got reverse wireless charging, dual speakers, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, always on display, and the best feature about this phone, the S Pen. So what's missing from my checklist? No quad HD display, no expandable memory, and no headphone jack. That shit's whack. Hashtag bars. All right, so let's pop this open and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white, white shoes. shoes. Calm down. All right, here we go. Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Now, of course, I went with the Wesley Snipes Black. Nice black box. Y'all know I like that. Giggity. Rah. Here we go. Okay, so inside, another little box. Here's your SIM ejection tool. Got your usual books and shit. Pluck them, file them to the side. Here's your device. Got a little card, flick of the wrist. All right, shoes back up. 25 watt fast charging brick on deck. This is gonna be your OTG, okay? Let's see what else is in here. <laughs> this is going to be your SIM ejection. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> your S Pen ejection tool. I right, just in case you want to change the tips of your S Pen. And of course, you get some AKG headphones. Now, I forgot to show this in the uh, Note 10 Plus unboxing. For everybody that keeps asking, these are USB Type C headphones. So there's no headphone jack, but the headphones that come with it, USB Type C. So you plug them right into the phone. Now, I already heard these. These ain't the best quality in the world, but they not trash. All right, let me, I'll show you what they look like. Matter of fact, different size air tips. All right, box has trolled me. Ah. Okay. AKG earbuds. Headphones, earbuds, you know the deal. All right, shoes, scoop, scoop. Now, rah. let's get a little wipe down for that dramatic effect. And let me hit y'all in the face. Hold up. Let me get it nice and shiny. Bang. Woo! Wesley Snipes Black. Now let me do the smell test on this one. Mm! This smells like darkness. All right, welcome to the dark side. On the front, there's your pinhole camera. Now, of course, it comes with your pre-installed screen protector, which I immediately peel off because it's pretty much trash. Right. 950 bucks. I need to feel this display for the first time. Pinhole camera on the front. Oh boy, here we go. Power button on the left. Now when I do my full review, that's probably the biggest thing that I hate about this phone and the uh, Note 10 Plus, 
the power button on the left. Now all y'all left-handed cats, I know y'all loving this, but right-handed cats, after a decade of having Samsung phones that you used to go on like this, trying to retrain your fingers into <laughs> powering with the left side, I'm not feeling that at all. So here's your power button, volume up and down, triple started. camera set up on the rear. On the bottom, the USB Type-C, the there's your mic, speaker grill. Let's see what color the S Pen is. Black. All right, so all black everything. On the top, there's your SIM tray, another mic. That's pretty much it. Let me wipe it down one more time, because y'all need to see this. Now, a lot of people were saying this one kind of looks like gray as opposed to black, but it's definitely black. If anything, it kind of looks like a midnight blue. All right, let me pause the video. I'll drop some of my information in, then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, so I'm setting up all my information in the background. So in the meantime, let's do a size comparison with the rest of the Galaxy family. Here's your Note 10, Galaxy S10e. Note 10 is a little bit taller, about the same width. Here's your Note 10, Galaxy S10. Okay, now look, these are almost the same height and almost the same width. Here's your Galaxy S10 Plus, Note 10. Now the Galaxy S10 Plus is definitely taller and a little bit wider. Here's your Note 10, Galaxy Note 9. Note 9 is way taller and definitely a little bit wider. Now, here's the big boys. Note 10, Galaxy S10 5G, also known as the 5 Gangster. This is my second favorite phone out right now. It's a little bit taller and definitely wider. And of course, the best phone on the market, Galaxy Note 10 versus the Note 10 Plus. Now check this out. The Note 10 is a little bit taller and a little bit wider. Now look, I know the main question everybody's gonna wanna know. Why on earth for 950 bucks would anybody buy the Note 10 instead of the Note 10 Plus for basically the same price? And the answer is, I don't know. All right, there's really only one reason I can think of. Maybe you just hate big phones. But look at it. It's really not that much bigger. Now don't get me wrong, some people just don't like big phones. I was hanging out with my little sister the other night and she asked me what's the new phone out. I said, check this out. I handed her the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and she was like, yo, you walking around with that big ass phone? I, I, I can't take it. <laughs> Look, to each his own. But for me, if you getting ready to drop 950 bucks, why not get the big boy? Look at the size difference. It, is it really that much bigger? It's really not. If you could fit the Note 10 in your pocket, you can fit the 10 plus in your pocket. Let me know what y'all think. All right, so let me break this down real quick for the people that don't know. What's the difference between the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 plus? As of right now, I can only count six things. Number one, the display. On the 10, you got a 6.3 inch 1080p panel. On the 10 plus, you got a 6.8 inch quad HD panel. Advantage 10 plus. Next, RAM. On the 10, you got eight gigs of RAM. On the 10 Plus, you're getting 12 gigs of RAM. Advantage 10 Plus. Next, storage. On the 10, you got 256 gigs of storage. On the 10 Plus, 512 gigs of storage. Advantage 10 Plus. Next, expandable memory. No micro SD card slot on the 10. On the 10 Plus, you got a micro SD card slot. Advantage 10 Plus. Next, the cameras. On the rear, no 3D time of flight camera on the 10. On the 10 Plus, you got a 3D time of flight camera. Advantage 10 Plus. And lastly, the battery. On the 10, you got a 3,500 milliamp battery with 25 watt fast charging. On the 10 Plus, you got a 4,300 milliamp battery that's capable of 45 watt fast charging. Advantage 10 Plus. So again, why would anybody buy the 10 over the 10 plus? I don't know. All right, so I'm not gonna waste your time going through all of the setup. 
it's pretty much exactly the same as the Note 10 Plus. Now, I just did that video a couple of days ago. I'll leave a link for that up in the description if you want to check it out. Now, on a side note, I will be doing a full review. I just got my retail version in the mail. And when I do that video, everything that I don't like about the Note 10 Plus, I'm not going to like about the Note 10 and a few things more. So I just combined them into one video. But there is one thing I wanted to check out real quick. Is there really that much of a difference between HD and Quad HD? Let's see. So let's open up Facebook. I got both phones on max brightness. And let's see. All right, so let's refresh. Now, if you notice, they pretty much look the same. Maybe the Quad HD is a little bit sharper, but they basically look the same. Now, I'm sitting right in front of these, and here's also, this is gonna be the difference in screen size. So the Note 10 Plus, on paper, it's a lot bigger, but in real life, it's really not that much bigger. Like I said, when I do my full review, I'll let y'all know everything that I don't like and everything that I do like. But as of right now, all right, spoiler alert, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is my favorite phone, all right? This is the best phone out. Now, I know that <laughs> that might seem like this is the second best phone out, but if you don't want the S Pen, trust me when I tell you, go with the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G. All right, that's my second favorite phone. This one, it's a little too small for me. All right, I like them bigger. Giggity. All right, so I got three different cases I want to show y'all, all from Ghost Tech, all available on Amazon. I'll throw the links up in the description. The prices range from 15 to 40 bucks. First up, we got the Covert 3. Now this one is gonna run you 15 bucks. It's drop tested, you got non-slip grip, limited lifetime warranty, diamond grip, multi-layer technology, soft touch buttons, slim precise fit. All right, so let's check this one out. Now inside, a little flick of the wrist, Certificate of Authenticity, plug it and file it, and your Ghost Tech Troll stickers. Here we go, Covert 3. Now this is a gel skin case, got reinforced bumpers, got your diamond grip padding on the sides. Let's drop this one in. Let's get a little wipe down. Check this out. Now you can still showcase the color of your phone. You got maximum resivity on this one, so it's Slam Boy certified. Buttons. Cutouts, buttons, cutouts, buttons. Let's make sure that power button works. There it is. And let's check wireless charging. Let me grab a wireless charger. Okay. So we got wireless charger on deck. Now this one comes in a couple of different colors. Let me show y'all a different one. Now this one is 100% transparent. And also got the uh, smoked out version. So this is a fully clear. Smoke version. All right, let's get a little wipe down on the phone so y'all can get the full dramatic effect. Let's slap this one in. Check this one out. Now, this is perfect with the Wesley Snipes Black. All the buttons work, all the cutouts line up. Let's see how easy it is to get to that S Pen. No problems. Check while it's charging. While it's charged on deck. Now this case is not gonna turn yellow. All right, some of these other transparent ones, if you rock them every day, they'll turn yellow. If you get the smoked out version, it's gonna look like this for the life of the case. Let's keep it moving. Next up, we got the Ghost Tech Cloak 4. Now this one is gonna run you 20 bucks. Drop tested, non-slip grip, limited lifetime warranty, multi-layer technology, soft touch buttons, slim precise fit. All right, 20 bucks on this one. Inside, flick of the wrist, here it is. Now check this one out. This got the uh, red trim on the side. Look at the bumpers, extra reinforcement. Let's slap this one on. Now check out the resivity on this one. Slam Boy certified, all your cutouts, all your buttons in order. Let's check wireless charge. Wireless charge on deck. Now we got a second color for this one also. Let's go with the gunmetal gray. All right, so check this out. This is how it's gonna look. Oh, I'm feeling this one. This one has some diamond grips also. 
Feels good in the hands, ladies. You know the procedures. But most importantly, reinforced corners. So when you drop that phone down the stairs and it does that five cartwheels, it's gonna be good money. Let's drop on the uh, gunmetal color. I'll check the S-Pen on this one too. Oh, this one is nice. Let's see how hard it is or easy it is. Okay, comes out real quick. Power buttons work. Wireless charge working on deck. This one is sick. Let me wipe this one down. Yeah, I like this one too. This got a nice grippy feel to it. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, now this is my favorite case from Ghost Tech. We got the Atomic Slim 3. Now this one's gonna run you 40 bucks. You got your aluminum frame. It's military grade, limited lifetime warranty, non-slip grip, multi-layered, drop tested, and slim precise fit. Check this one out. Okay, so inside, flick of the wrist, certificate of authenticity, pluck it and file it. Check this one out. This is one of those cases that you gotta hold in your hand to truly appreciate. All right, you got your tempered glass black panel, got your hard shell, with the aluminum bumper around it. Got some grippy padding on the side. Your buttons are made out of aluminum also. Let's drop this one on. Now let's do this one right. I'm gonna wipe down the inside of the case first. Then we'll wipe down the back of this Galaxy Note as good as we can and we'll slap it in. Okay, one more wipe down. Now when you take your time and do it right, this is gonna look so sick. Wesley Snipes Black. Look how deep that cutout is. All right, your camera's really deep in there. Giggity. Slam Boy certified on the back, on the front. Look at all the resivity. Slam Boy certified on the front. Let's check those aluminum buttons. All right, no problems with that. Let's check wireless charging. Wireless charge on deck. And let's see how hard or easy it is to get to the S Pen. No problems. All your cutouts, everything lines up. This case just has an amazing feel to it. It's definitely going to add some extra thickness and some extra weight, but this is protection right here. Look at those corners. Oh, you need this one. All right, let me show you what it's going to look like with the uh, red version because that's the one I'm getting ready to rock for the rest of the night. So let me wipe the phone down correctly. I'm gonna wipe this one clean though. All right, check this one out. Bang! Whoo! I love this red bumper with that cold aluminum feel. You got the aluminum buttons. This one is sick. Let's check that wireless charging. No problems with that. This is my favorite Ghost Tech case. 40 bucks worth every penny. All right, let's wrap this up. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, the Galaxy Note 10 is a major, major, major go. Even with the few things that I don't like, this phone is still a beast. Now you heard that right, that's a triple major go. That's not a quad major. The quad major go goes to the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This is the best phone that I own right now. And I think this is gonna be the best phone of the year. So would I recommend buying the Galaxy Note 10? I would say no. Even if you don't like big phones, if you're getting ready to drop a thousand bucks for a phone, why not go for the best? The 10 Plus, it's a little bit bigger, deal with the size. You're getting a better display, bigger battery, faster battery charging, more cameras, more storage, more RAM, more phone. Anyway, Galaxy Note 10, hit me up in the comments, let me know what y'all think about this one, and let me know if there's anything specific y'all want me to cover when I do my full review. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys in lap. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to 
to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. All right, Shoes, what you think about the Note 10? Which one you like better, the Note 10 or the Note 10 Plus? Everybody wants to know. I right, give me back the one that you don't like. Let, let's see. This, this I will test it. All right, whichever one you don't like, let me get. You want this one or this one? Let me see. I right, I right, you want the ten plus? Can I get the ten? All right. Well, both of these phones must be a major go. Let's see if I can sneak this 10 out of here. All right, got that one. Let's see if I could sneak this. Okay, looks like I got it, looks like I got it. Thank you. White shoes, calm down. Right in your mouth. <laughs>